Hi everyone, this is Brandon with Cornhole Ace, and today I'm going to show you how to assemble our DIY professional cornhole board kit. Now in this video I'm just going to show you how to assemble one board, um, but your kit will actually include two boards. So for one board, you're actually going to have a left frame, a right frame, they're identified by an L and an R on them. You're going to have four support braces, but two of them are going to look like this. This is for the middle of the board, and the ones that look like this is for the tops and bottom of the board. Then you have a left and right leg. You have your leg brace. And we also have your professional cornhole board top. And then you're going to have your leg hardware, and then you have all your screws. And then the tools that you're going to need to assemble all this is you're going to need a drill. You're going to need a, a number two square bit. And you're going to need a, a, a tape measure and a pen so that you can mark the position of your frame once you have it together. So go ahead and determine which side of the board you want to install the frame on. The opposite side is going to be your top side. The side that you're actually installing the frame on is going to be your bottom side. Now we're going to start assembling the frame. We're going to go ahead and take our pieces. Let's take the support frame members that don't have the pocket in it. And we're just going to go ahead and do the top and bottom one real quick. So right now you just want to kind of eyeball this and try to make sure that it's as straight as possible. And now I want to <clears throat> make sure that this corner piece is over top of the cornhole board. And I want to make sure that I'm, I'm pushing down on both pieces I'm trying to screw together. Because when we start to screw the frame into the board, I want to make sure that there's no gap here. And if this is off a little bit, I'm going to have a gap under this frame. So I need to make sure that both members are flush to the board when I screw this in. All right, I'm going to go ahead and put the pocket hole in, screw in. And I'm going to apply pressure. Make sure everything's flush. You see it might kick out a little bit, but I want to make sure that I continue to apply pressure and I'll grab it and pull it back in. There's also products out there where you can um, get an angle device that will actually grip both of these so you don't have to uh, try to apply pressure. All right. Got that one in. If you're using an impact drill, the last thing you want to do is send the drill to where you strip everything out. You want to go in nice and slow, that way you, everything grips and you don't end up stripping anything out. That's very important. Now I'm gonna go ahead and do this side. Just make sure you got no gap. I'm going to take the bottom one now. I'm going to go ahead and put it in position. Okay, now my center ones, I get the pocket holes facing the center. I can go ahead and just slide these in. I wanna go ahead and put both of these in right now while I still have some mobility.
Okay. So now we have our frame put together and you can see how I can lift it and remove it. So I actually will lift it and move it out of place right now. And what I want to do is I need to mark the position where I'm going to put this. So due to the way your board's cut, it's actually not a true 48 by 24. It is actually 20, 23.75 by 47.75 and that still meets regulation size for a two by four uh, professional cornhole board set but your frame measures 47 by 23 so it means in each corner we need to go three eighths of an inch we got to mark a three eighths inch off of this off the sidewall three eighths from the top and do the same for each corner. All right, I'm gonna take my three eighths, mark it here, and three eighths, mark it here. So this is where I need to be. Now you can use pencil, I'm using pen, but you get it, so three eighths, and three eighths. Let's do it over here. I got all my corners marked. Now I will go ahead and take my frame, place it on here. Now you want to make sure that your legs, where you see L and R, is where the hole on the cornhole board is. And now we are going to eyeball and make sure our corner hits the dots that we just put together. And if you feel like it keeps shifting on you, make sure you get one corner perfect. Like I got it right on this corner right here. I'm gonna go ahead and drill in just this corner and now I can still make just a minor adjustment to to line up the rest. So I got it on this corner. I got it on this corner. So everything everything looks good. All right, as long as everything looks good, you can continue to screw your frame in. Now you just want to make sure that you apply enough downward pressure so that you don't leave a gap between the frame and the board. Another tip is you could go around and start putting your pocket holes. You can lay them in the pockets. That way you can just walk around and drill all at once instead of you keep having to grab every single screw each time you drill.
Okay. Just double check, make sure you have all the pocket holes in. And I do. So now I want to assemble my leg brace. So notice how I got the angle laid in here. I'm going to use my frame to be able to hold my leg brace together so it's easier for me to screw it in. So I got my, you can notice that I got my right leg against my left frame and my left leg against my right frame. I'm doing this on purpose, but if you're, if you do the same thing, it should be upside down just like this. Now I'm going to stick the brace in the groove and I'm going to go ahead and push it on down. So now this is holding up my leg brace so it's going to make it easy for me to screw my leg brace into my legs. So I'm going to go ahead put my pocket holes in and I'm just going to apply pressure. Screw that side in, walk around. I'm going to screw this side in. Okay. And now you see you got your leg brace. So now I pull it out. I turn it around so that the right leg matches with the right frame and the left leg matches with the left frame. I'm going to go ahead and take my hardware. You should have a washer, a lock washer, and a wing nut. And what we're going to do is stick the bolt in, move your leg over. If you feel like you're having a hard time doing this, you can actually line it up and look through the side. And once the hole lines up, then you can go ahead and slide the bolt on in. An another um, helpful tip is if you had a no blow hammer, you can uh, knock your bolts in more instead of trying to um, screw them into the wood. So now I'm placing my washer on first, then my lock washer, and then my wing nut. And I'm going to tighten it, and as I tighten it, you can start to see the carriage bolt go in. And it is easier if you have a no-blow hammer. Okay, this side, washer, lock washer, and wing nut. Okay, and you want it to where there's just enough tension on it so that your legs stay in place when you're playing. If it's too loose, then it might cause your boards to bounce because your legs are loose. But in this case, like just enough tension where it's just barely a struggle to lift this up is great tension. And this is how you assemble a DIY pro cornhole board.